Who was that? Just a friend. You've made a new friend? Oh, a friend? Since when have you had other friends? Oh, friend. I know. Yeah. Oh, friend. Football friend. Oh. Well, they've been the better team early on. I just had a funny joke about a well-known football coach from Portugal being Mr. Paid to Win. What's going on? Welcome to Football Friend FC. It's MJ. You know what? Without further ado, let's get into today's video. The story. Alison Becker's transfer to Liverpool. On the 18th of July 2018, Liverpool will break the world record transfer for a goalkeeper. Indeed, they will do what many pundits will later on go to describe as a statement of intent and end up one-upping a lot of their European rivals. And by this, I mean mighty clubs like the great Real Madrid, Chelsea Football Club and Napoli to beat them to the signature of Alison Becker. Indeed, it would infuriate head honcho at Napoli, Ariel De Laurentiis, so much that he will go on to say Liverpool own Roma. This is a story of Alison Becker's transfer to Liverpool. All that went on behind the scenes in negotiations, as well as what Liverpool fans can expect from Alison Becker. Now, in order to understand this one day in July, it's perfectly good to go back to one day in May. Indeed, it was the last weekend of May. It was the Champions League final as Real Madrid faced off Liverpool. Now, this game will be memorable for so many reasons. First of all, Real Madrid won their third European crown. But more importantly, it will be the last time football fans will be able to see Cristiano Ronaldo in a Real Madrid shirt. But you know what, we're probably more likely to remember this day for two blonders by Loris Karius. Ideally, people would say it's actually the most historical blonders by a goalkeeper in a major European final. But we also remember this day for a bit of magic by Gareth Bale. Is this also the day in which we actually see a passing of the baton from Cristiano Ronaldo to Gareth Bale? Loris Karius was absolutely distorted at the final whistle. He went on to say, It moved around a lot and I tried to catch it. They are rumours of a concussion. Loris Karius takes a trip to Boston shortly afterwards where he meets two doctors, Dr. Ross Zafonte and Dr. Leno Hagard. These two conclude that Alison Becker, that he indeed had a concussion during the Champions League final. This was refuted by the man willing to comment on everything going on, Thibaut Courtois, before his move to Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois went on to say a similar incident had happened to him with Alexis Sanchez and he simply did not believe that a concussion was to blame. Now, shortly after the Champions League final, negotiations began between Roma Football Club and Liverpool Football Club. This whilst addressing the elephant in the room, Mo Salah, who had been negotiated between both clubs the season before. On the side of Roma was one well-known to football fans, one Roman Rodriguez Vallejo, affectionately known as Monchi. Whereas on Liverpool's side, it was Michael Edwards, an ex-player from Peterborough United, who had come to Liverpool Football Club around the Danon Camoli era and had risen through the ranks to become chief negotiator on all transfers. Monchi, who was actually in charge as the selling club, has actually said many times about his philosophies of selling. He says, you have to set the price and be non-negotiable. And with Liverpool, this was no different. It was made it worse by the fact that he had felt that they had actually sold Mo Salah on the cheap. 
Monty's goes, when you sell a player, you have to set the price and do not negotiate with them. Monty, last season, after Salah had been sold to Liverpool, did go on to try to explain himself. He said Salah was sold cheaply because he was sold before what he referred to as the Neymar effect. The European club started being phased out by Liverpool one by one to the signature of Alisson Becker as Real Madrid and Zinedine Zidane decided to block the move as he wanted to remain loyal to the goalkeeper Kelo Navas who he had actually won three European Cups with previously. Both Chelsea and Napoli also had a summer of change in which Chelsea and Napoli spent most of the summer negotiating the transfer of one Maurizio Sarri who swapped Naples for Stamford Bridge. After Liverpool made it rain, it was the big day. On the 19th of July, we arrive and we see what happens. Alison Becker signs, which puts a huge smile on one Jorgen Klopp's face. But at the same time, it goes on to actually leave a lot of questions and answers for Liverpool fans because they were left with so many questions. Who indeed is Alison Becker? Why does his name sound German? Has he got German heritage? How did he make Edison a professional bench warmer at the World Cup? Is he going to be a cup idol or a cup flop? What indeed is his play style? Well, you know what, without further ado, let's get into it. Alison Ramsey's Becker was born in 1992. He is indeed a 90s baby. He was born in Nouveau Hamburgo, which actually translates to New Hamburg. Now, this is an area of Brazil, in the Porto Alegre area, which was predominantly settled by people of German descent. So that might actually explain why he has the name as a 90s tennis prodigy. Also, people, the most famous son of Nuvo Hamburger, well actually Porto Alegre, not Nuvo Hamburger, happens to be one Ronaldinho, R9. Now let's examine Alisson's debut with Internacional. He signed for Internacional when he was 10 years of age and Alisson went Jonas by actually signing as well as his older brother. During Alisson's times at Internacional, he actually went up against legendary goalkeeper Dida. He spends four years at Internacional winning a title each time he was there, the last year becoming their undisputed number one before heading to Europe. Alisson signs for Roma and in his first season, he's actually up against a very impressive Wojciech Szczesny. And after Szczesny moves to Juventus, AB1 becomes their undisputed goalkeeper and he goes on to actually make the Champions League team of the season. In his one and final season in Roma, we can see how impressive the stats are as he kept 15 clean sheets, only conceded 27 goals, conceded zero errors leading to goals and it was difficult to beat as you can see saves per goals of 3.41 with an impressive 81 pass completion rate. Alisson is a sweeper goalkeeper which means he actually operates in between the final back line and actually rushes out to actually sweep up any situations that the defence is actually facing. His, attribute, his distribution is superior to Edison's. He's comfortable either foot and he's there to do a skill move, especially when pressed by the opposition defender, therefore giving more space. Now, Alisson would hold the word for world's most expensive defender for less than a month before Maurizio Sarri and a storm brewing at Stamford Bridge will bring a shake-up to the top three most expensive goalkeepers in the world, as we would see that outspoken Thibaut Courtois not show up for Chelsea train and move to Real Madrid. And Chelsea would actually respond by actually spending a new world record on Kepa. By the end of the month, this is how the top three goalkeepers of all time 
will look with Alison Becker coming in second. And final on the list is that man who never goes unmentioned, Thibaut Courtois. Thank you.